Welcome to the lesson on how to add a banner to your Google site. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and use Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to go to Start All Programs. I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop CS. When this window pops up, go ahead and say Close. I'm going to go ahead and, and expand this window for Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and close these windows. You will need some of them, possibly. But in the meantime, uh, we're just going to start with the Tools window here. And we're going to make an we're going to make a blank banner. I'm going to go to File, New, and I found that the dimensions are roughly 400 by 40, as you can see in the width and height in pixels, will work. Set the tr background to transparent, and then say OK. Then I'm going to click on the Text tool, and you can see up at the top the different, you got the font choices up here, you have the size, and you have the color. So depending on the website color, uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my site looks like. I want my font to be white. So I'll go ahead and come here. I'll click on the text tool. Click here. Choose white in this case. And I'm going to click down and type in Kids Net Soft. Okay, you can't see it because it's white on white. But uh, if I were to change it to a darker color, you can see what it would look like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open up the window layers. This is the layers window. And that, as you can see, if you double click on that T, it will highlight your text. And then you can change the color. And we'll set it to only web safe colors. So for example, if I set it to red, you can see what it looks like. We'll go ahead and click on the move tool up in the upper right corner of the tools window. If this is not showing, you would go to window and select your tools. Click on the Move tool. You can move the text. But I'm going to go ahead and double click on that T in the Layers window so I can edit the text. I come up here and make changes. Maybe I want a fun font that's attractive and interesting. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Kids Net Soft. I might add Kids Net Soft to computers. or Kids Netsoft website. That's my domain name. That's why I'm choosing Kids Netsoft. So that you have it. I could double click on that T again. Maybe make it a larger size. So you can see I don't need all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and take the crop tool, come down and make a selection of just my title. And then once that's selected, I'll hit the Enter key to accept the cropping. I am going to double click on the T again and change it to white. And now I'm going to go ahead and save it. I will go to File. I need to click on the Move tool in order to save it. File, Save for Web. It's really an important step. And you can see over here where it says GIF. You don't want it to be a JPEG because as you can see it would make it white. I want that to be transparent, so I set it to a GIF. Then I would say save, and I'm going to go ahead and temporarily just put it on my website. I'm just going to put it on my desktop, and I'll call it banner. I'm going back to my website to add my banner. So I choose more actions, manage site, and I'm going to come over here to the left hand panel and choose site layout. Once I'm under Site Layout, you can see where it says Change Logo. I'm going to go ahead and say Change Logo. I'm going to browse for that image that I just put on my desktop. And I'm going to find it and select it. You can always view um, details and by type, and that makes it easier to find what you're looking for if you have a messy desktop like I do. So I'm going to locate my banner, and there it is. It's going to load. I can't see it because it's white on white. Then I'll say OK. Now I'll say Save Changes. That's really important as well. OK, then I'm going to go back to Return to Site to see the changes that were made. Now notice the Kids Net Soft underneath. I need to get rid of that. So I need to go to More Actions again. Choose Manage Site. 
and I'm going to come over on the left hand panel and choose the general option and notice up here where it says site name I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to say get rid of that check mark where it says show site name at top of pages and save those changes now I'll return and my banner should be there with the changes made there you have it that concludes this session I hope that this was helpful